Hello and welcome to another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. I am the player who plays as the King Under the Mountain. And today I'm going to be doing a quick season update. Um, it may not be that quick actually because it's been a few days and probably about 10 days actually and a lot has changed. The alliances and things haven't changed in this server. Um, this is server number, he says, if he could remember how to do it. I think it's in here. Uh, S40473. So, in this server, it is Arnor and Linden pretty much versus everyone else. Angmar kind of didn't really declare themselves for anyone for a very long period of time, and uh, there isn't really a lot of Angmar left now, so uh, that's, yeah, quite an interesting twist. So, probably the easiest thing to start with would be the leaderboards. Uh, personal production wise, by a minor miracle, which I'm going to um, kind of talk through later on, we are back into 21st. We could probably be a little bit higher if we wanted to, but we're just, we've got some open tiles at the minute because we're at war. Um, and I'll kind of explain what we've done as a team to try and sort of stem the tide of getting absolutely annihilated at points. So, um, contribution wise, I am just about top of the faction. Merit wise, and I quite like this new merit board, to be fair. Um, on the server, I'm almost up with this guy here, and I'm a little bit above Raven. Um, whether I'll stay that way, I don't know, but that's kind of where we're at. Commander-wise, we are sat in this 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th position. Or even 5th, 6th, 7th and 9th? Cletus has kind of jumped in the middle, so Raven's top. I think he's pretty much nearly level 49. Um, I quite like this feature as well, although realistically, if the meta does change... I will probably withdraw myself from this by using this button because I don't necessarily want people to know what I'm using. Um, just a thought, but yeah, I'd probably sort of remove myself at that point. Uh, I will go into the fellowship ranking. So Decal are storming ahead with 2.5 million production. Uh, their other sort of fellowship partner, DKLD, are also pretty much up there. Same as Arnor. So these four teams are working together. They came into the server working together, um, and they haven't really had a great deal of competition, to be perfectly honest, because it's it's not been the busiest of servers. Uh, we've kind of recovered to 1.3. And then there's kind of some other great teams in here, to be honest. The Raw have done quite well. Uh, that's the team in Angmar. We know Hack from last season. Uh, Echo have been good, <clears throat> and Skull working with us. SPRT we've seen from last season. Um... And then only are down here with 500k production, but there is only 40 of them. So to be fair to them, it's not a bad effort. So it's been quite an interesting server, but we, there has definitely been a lot of death on our part. So I will just go into how many days, and I couldn't actually believe how many days had actually gone in this server when I checked the other day, because it feels like it should be about 55, but it's not. So Del Goldor hasn't been occupied yet. Uh, from what we've heard, I think there's just going to be a lottery between Arnor and Linden, and not an actual ring battle. They're just going to see who hits last, and whoever hits last keeps the ring. We're only on day 25. Um, and a lot's happened, really, because uh, as, as their slogan goes, DK is coming, and to be fair, they have kept coming. So, this is the map. I will zoom out slightly. So... Loth have just retaken this, so they've actually got a territory. Uh, Rohan have somehow managed to avoid everything in the middle of here. Um, I don't know how they've managed to do that. But anyway, Linden have pretty much advanced all the way across. Um, they took Erebor. We, disappointing, really. We didn't really defend Erebor as hard as what I, what I thought we probably would. Um, and then after they kind of removed Erebor, uh, Linden kind of went north and went into Angmar and started to take out Angmar. They also took out Loth's capital. Uh, I believe the aim is for them to get this blue and turquoise colour all over the map by the end of the season. Whether that's possible or not, it'll be it'll be interesting to see. Arnor have kind of come down here and taken over Gondor. They've also gone into Mordor. And Rune have been pushed back quite significantly. I believe Linden are actually at their capital. Uh, coming down from here and across. So, 
what we did because we, we we are we are kind of having a bit more of a relaxed season if i'm honest as a team and we, we kind of tried to come in and be a bit more relaxed and we haven't necessarily got the break that we wanted i suppose but um because it's been pretty busy and they're a very good team the the dk team so um after we lost Erebor, we came sort of south uh, through here took this pass went round and then took uh, took these Mordor lands here and now we're actually fighting with Arnor. So we've kind of come through here, that's where I'm currently settled. Um, and it was more just to try and give us a little bit more of a switch. So we we were always going to lose Erebor because even more than anything else a numbers game to be honest, but hopefully this will give us a little bit of something to fight for and hopefully maybe get a capital back because it doesn't necessarily have to be um, Erebor. So. We'll see how that works. That's currently where we are. Um, that's kind of where the server's at. And at the moment, we're kind of fighting um, over by this crossing over here. Where So we're here. Uh, we, we've kind of pushed up to here. And we've run into some resistance today from Arnor, to be fair. Um, and it's been quite cool. They, they seem pretty chilled out. The same as DK. Seem like a good bunch of people and, and seems to be going pretty well. I've got a couple of pathers sort of uh, facing around. I've got a secondary in here, and I'm just sending um, my main over to this ruins that I've, I've captured over here, so I've got a little bit more range, a little bit faster. What we're also going to do while we're on is we're just going to check out this temporary camp over here with some eagles. So from a flyby not too long ago, I think this camp is actually unguarded. So we'll see if we can land, and if we can land, we might be able to take it down. One word of advice for anyone building a camp near the front, uh, never leave it unguarded. I mean, this is this is sort of a standard, you know, put a couple of armies on it. One of them's probably a real army, I would guess. Um, but don't leave it completely unguarded, because you, you'll just end up getting smacked by someone, and your camp will get lost, and it'll just be six hours, seven hours wasted, whatever it might be. So we've got quite a few forts over here now. Uh, we have sort of pushed up this way. And there was a couple of things I suppose I wanted to touch on. I'll show some battle reports um, shortly. But I will also show how I've managed to keep the farms up, which I think is quite important. Particularly if you're fighting a lot. I mean, you know, we're at 2 million merit now halfway through, which is a little bit lower than what we've been doing for the last couple of seasons. We'd probably be on about three and a half now. Um, but to be fair, it's been like a swarm, so you don't really get to reinforce whenever you're fighting. You just kind of get hit and hit again. So it, it's been difficult, I think, to, to sort of sustain fighting this season. Barracks is actually looking pretty good at the minute. I'll, I'll sort of talk about that in a moment. While I'm waiting for this to land, which is probably a risky thing with eagles flying around, uh, we'll go to here and we'll close that down. And I just wanted to show you very, basically the farming stuff. So I kind of, this is a little tip from me, and this is actually when we're below um, 100 stamina. So this is with the minus figures for using eagles. So if your comms are already at level 40, there is nothing on these three. So they're just there for damage. And then I've got full Gandalf, so it, it most, I could probably switch the build even more, to be honest, because I could probably put this heal up a little bit and maybe drop a couple of points out of Wizard so that I might be able to heal twice. And because he's only trying to heal his own stack, because these are already dead, you tend to only lose about one Eagle taking a 130 or a 150, which I thought was pretty handy, really, when you're trying to replace... Um, when you try and replace land. So I, I've had to travel a very, very long way to start taking 200s again. Um, and this was one of them. So with full eagles, and don't get me wrong, my, my gear is pretty good. Um, I'll just sort of show that through there. And this is the Skalholm set I've been building for a little while. But again, Gandalf with that small heal, just nothing seems to die too much. And you're taking 200s without many losses of eagles, which is really handy when you're trying to replace production and you can just fort your way across the map to wherever, as long as it's not a gale zone. Um, <clears throat> someone's coming over to cover this, but by the time they get there, we might be able to move. 
So we'll see what happens. I presume they'll be taking the land. So um, let's see what happens. So we're going to try and take down this temporary camp, hopefully. I don't know why they've stopped. Presumably so they guard their own camp, I'm guessing. Well, there's already eagles there. Oh, that's annoying. Um, <clears throat> I wonder where I'll stop. See, the problem is if you're flying over a red tile, you don't get to um, you don't get to change direction. So that was pretty well defended by them, to be fair. So now if I can just get back to this side of the crossing, which I will, I'll try and pick a different point and then try and go back again. So I'll probably try and pick somewhere here-ish, something like that, maybe even there. So now they've filled in the front. So hopefully, we'll try and get around the back, surely, but we've got a minute before we do that. So that was kind of farming with eagles, which I've, I've touched on pretty briefly there, but I'd probably like to do a video on it at some point, because I think it'd be quite interesting. I think it's a useful way of, of keeping your production high. I'd never have... Um, I'd never have got back near the top 20 if I didn't use eagles and forts to get there. And with the new ring skill... If it's to a neutral land, which at the time this was, uh, other people can can sort of join you for ten points, which is which is pretty good because then they can also um, keep their production up as well, which is which is really important when you're losing your homelands and your heartlands, which we were, and it's it's a big big loss to your uh, to your production. So that was good. Uh, we've also got a few fights. I will show the fights in a minute. I'm just gonna have another go at this camp. I think. And see if I can actually get to it. I'll probably try and land here this time. In fact, no, because they'll stop me there. Let's go there. Or even here. Let's go here. Let's try here. Because hopefully if we land there, we can maybe land next door. See how we get on. I'll show one battle report in the in the middle. So we've just started fighting on or but I'll I'll go up from Linden because this is from the other day. And we've had a bit of a mixed bag of fights, and I'll I'll sort of talk through one of them in the Sauron meta, which I know PBE starts in a few days' time. And I am quite looking forward to PBE, because hopefully it'll change a few things. And I'm going to show you a report that I'm pretty much shows that um, the state of the game, I would guess, is probably fair. So this is... DK's always a hard fight. DK's one of the hardest fights that we have on the server. Um, his even his B team with Kirden in is is pretty impressive. Um, but he's got really good gear. He got really high respect comms, so I was okay with that as a result, really, to be honest. Um, this was not a bad result considering I was at six seven four eight. So this is what I'm saying about the Sauron meta and how it changes the fight. So this is the exact same fight as this one here against the same people but I've lost this fight because I lost White Council so it's interesting that uh, the, the Sauron meta has kind of created a, a couple of different problems I think hopefully I should be able to stop before that tile although I can't so what I might try and do is while I'm flying over this tile here I'm going to try to move to here and if this works, I'll be amazed. But I'm going to give it a go. There we go. So hopefully this time we'll land. And unless they come to sit on the camp, we might actually be able to take it down. Again, eagles. I know a lot has been talked about them lately in Felbeast. But you can be really annoying with them. Um, you, you can sort of block supply lines. Like now, for example, if this person tries to defend this, I'll probably try and take out the fort so they have to recall. Um, but you can just be really irritating with them. Yes, you can get killed quite simply as well, a lot of the time, which is a little bit annoying. Um, we'll see how much damage we do to this, because I don't actually know if I'll do enough anyway to kind of get enough hits. This isn't really my siege team. Normally, I try and do this with a goth mod formation, and you tend to be able to take down a temporary camp in two or three hits. Uh, sadly, the goth mod formation has already been done because I, I did this to someone earlier on. So there's no one guarding this camp. Uh, this person is now trying to move, I guess. 
or trying to guard the camp, which you can't actually do, which is pretty handy. So hopefully one more hit after they don't realize that they can't um, can't guard this camp and we'll get rid of it. And that puts someone to eight hours of being really annoyed. Oh, 37 seconds. Can't remember what my flight time was. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time. However, what was my flight time? 32, oh, so close. So realistically now, I'm going to try and attack the fort and hope that they recall. And then once they've recalled, I should be able to just kill the fort. Or maybe they won't recall. We'll soon see if they recall or not. But we're going to keep attacking the fort. I don't think I'll do enough damage to the fort. It's only 2%, that's the problem. So what I might do is I might switch one of my main armies to birds. And probably hit this. Um, and it should take it out, really. I don't know if there's any more camps sort of floating around. I tend to do this with building forts or with... Um, Building forts really is probably the one, or building camps like this, because you can you can do a lot of damage to your enemy doing it that way, um, without losing any eagles. Hopefully, I did lose some eagles earlier on because once you've used the stop feature, you have to land on the tile. And to be fair, someone tried to uh, tried to take me back down. So, see if we just move here and see if they've decided to stay on top of the camp, which I'm sure they will have done at this stage. But the good thing is you can just keep moving around with eagles and it does mean that you're being really annoying to your opponents but uh, it's each to their own you can be as annoying as you like i would presume this is their main and, and this formation definitely won't take that down uh, which is a bit of a shame so i wonder if they'll come and attack me i might just stand still and see if they come to attack me just for a minute so going back to the sour and meta so you've just seen there that I've drew this fight and lost this fight all because of Sauron, basically, against the same player. And, and it kind of gets, I don't know, a little bit boring sometimes. This is <laughs> this is the other side of it. So I get there is a counter here, right? So And this is my B team, but they're wearing, you know, my, my pretty decent gear, to be fair. I'll just sort of click for it. And... This is kind of the state of the game with the way the meta is. So this is the meta right here. And look at the gear difference. And I appreciate this 20% damage buff. But that result there staggers me. And I feel it should be an easy win. Now I did win the draw, granted. But um, it, it, I didn't really feel it was enough. We might be able to take this out because I think this is reinforcements. And this is basically great for reinforcement sniping. This might hurt because my army's not wearing any gear. Um, but it definitely looks like reinforcement sniping. And we've drew. And we've hardly lost anything and they've lost nearly half an army of troops. So I'm okay with that. Um, and this is sort of the, the whole thing about reinforcement sniping. So they can't cancel that reinforce now. Someone may have to move to try and stop me. Um, but yeah, they've, they've basically lost the entirety of the trolls and then half of the dragoons. And I've lost probably 20, 30 eagles at most. Now, if I had gear on, which I don't, they would have lost their entire army. <clears throat> and this is why the importance of reinfor reinforcement sniping is, because if you're inside these supply lines, people just can't reinforce and then they end up just getting really annoyed or having to back off to another fort to reinforce again. And it, it's a really powerful tool, reinforcement sniping. I am hopeful that this person decides to come off here and try and kill me while I'm in the draw. I won't be able to do much about it, but at least then they've moved off the camp. Um, the other side of it was just while I'm going through some battle reports. So that kind of said that. This was another good fight. I've had this fight twice with this person. So again, it's Rams versus um, a bit of a mix from me. I, because I've had time, I've actually been running um, Rams on my DD so I can hopefully get a bit of a buff every now and again on people using small units or at least equal to value of people using cavalry. Uh, and this guy's gear is pretty cool. 
a pretty strong player. Uh, I've fought him twice so far and come out pretty much on top twice, I would say, um, which I'm, I'm quite happy about. And I would probably literally put it down to the fact that as of yet, his fastest hour has not done anything to me, but also I've got a bit more unit defense on Gandalf um, with my build. So he's just tanking a little bit better and then uh, surviving. So that's that's good. I'm just going to check, see if I've not died. Not died. Um, this is the problem now with this game. There were draws and stuff. You just kind of sat there and just waiting to uh, see if anyone kills you off. So this is another fight as well that we had this morning against Felbeast. Again, pretty strong formation, but from a resource point of view, um, definitely a win for me. Obviously, they counted me with two, which is a bit annoying because I didn't really know that there was going to be any fell beasts flying around. Um, but a big resource win for me. And this was the same fight again yesterday. This is actually the first fight I had with uh, Arnold, which was uh, pretty interesting, to be fair. But yeah, we, we got the win there as well. So it's been interesting. I think going forward, we'll, we'll be fighting Arnold, I think, for a few days at least, uh, which could be pretty fun. I think... Uh, it's it's nice to kind of switch it up. We've we've had a lot of pressure from DK all season, and we we haven't really withstood it very well, if I'm being honest. We've kind of buckled, but we we haven't been as active as we probably normally would. Um, but it has been interesting, and it's it's been a lot of fun. Like I say, they've been a good group to play against with some really interesting builds. Um, I'm I'm still staggered by the battle goth mug, which is really cool, but it does seem to work. I'm just gonna move. Uh, my Gandalf back to here. You can come sit on the front line for five minutes. In fact, I might just go straight onto there, I reckon. As there's a bit of a build up there, so I'll just pop him straight onto there. Um, hopefully this draw will kill this army. I mean, really and truthfully, I could throw any old gear on this Astaro formation just to make it a little bit easier. And my Astaro is only level one. Oh, I think it's got Siege Gear on. Have they all got Siege Gear? Uh, Lurch probably won't have anything. Yeah, no one else has got Siege Gear on. So I might just put some Siege Gear on just so they've got a little bit of a buff of some description. Uh, this person here is just trying to sneak up on me, I think. And will try and kill me off before the draw. So I might just have to recall anyway, but... Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll probably just see this through to the end of the video, because this will be quite, uh, quite interesting to see if they then... <laughs> see, they moved off the camp. Which I don't know why you do that when you've got birds incoming. Um, I, I'll just try and see if I need to recall here because if, if they might just go straight across onto my tile. And it's quite a, quite a good tactic because I don't have very long to be able to do it. I don't know why they're now recalling to there. I'm trying to make a bit of a fort around the camp I think. So this could now be another, unless they try and take this tile in the next five seconds, this could actually be another uh, temporary camp I might be able to try and remove. So I think if I just move to here, ah, they've gone back to the camp. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see it's uh, it's quite a fun game to play with them. I, I won't be able to take this camp down now, um, or that one. But it's fun all the same. I'll probably switch to a main and try and hit this camp, and probably this camp too, to be honest. I'll probably move this B team um, and definitely hit this one, because I think that one's one hit away from being able to go. And I would anticipate my B team would beat that person, so I would call them for now. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I've got time for today and, and everything that I wanted to say. Like I say, the, the map's quite interesting. It is going blue and turquoise. They are going to go for the ring soon, I'm sure, because the fell forts went up yesterday. Uh, there's a lot of fighting around here. I didn't do the pins earlier on, so there's a 9 million pin here between uh, Rune and Arnor. There's still a 2.7 million pin here between um, Linden and, and sort of Erebor, and a lot of Erebor haven't quite relocated yet, or been relocated, shall I say. A lot of other pins, but this pin's kind of moved around, so it's been the main fight, really. And then we've just started having this pin sort of four or five hours ago. Um, 
But it's been a lot of fun. So there's still half the season left. Lots can happen. I don't think, if I'm being honest, we will um, we will get anywhere near the ring. And I don't think we may end up with a capital. But we'll give it a go. Um, and like I say, all in all, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. So uh, that's everything for today. So if in doubt, always follow your nose.